it's record. Okay, welcome guys. So uh, really excited about our probably say more Zambian focused online meeting with some of the tribe members and uh, we we'll all get a chance to meet each other. And then uh, next time I'll post this up, we'll get some of the other continents on board, but it's just a timing issue with uh, a lot of people because it will be uh, midnight to one o'clock I heard from some people. So, uh, you know, without further ado, I'll just text a few more. But if they can't make it, they'll definitely vote for an earlier time if possible, which we couldn't do at the time. So uh, let's see how we go. Um, okay, so uh, who here by show of hands has never been to a long table or done a Q&A session with me before online? Tony's fingers up there. I know Tony has been similar. You've been, Geneve, you've been to everything. What are you talking about? Jella, you've been to everything. Liars, pants of fire. I think it would be Sima, Muli, and Tony. I think Tash has been. Okay, so I'll explain what we so do. So you're saying who has or who hasn't? Who has not, not attended one before. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you guys are close. Okay. So we're just going to try and uh, bring in the fold and uh, some secret agents within this group were like, hey, what about the other tribe? What's happening with them? Where are they? So I was like, okay, no, this one I'll do unique. I'll bring everyone uh, more or less on this introduction, because some people have been MIA for six months, but for the new guys, I'll get to meet the rest of you. And then uh, later on, I think after this year, I'll really workshop in my head how we can combine forces as a tribe globally, uh, without also overdoing it with the events, because I think we all have other things to do with our time. Okay, so we have Haji join us from, uh, Haji, how are you? You get a chance to introduce yourself. The man is in town. What time is it over there in the US? It is actually, I'm in Medellin, Colombia right now. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Is the man is global yeah, trucking. Just so you, just so you had it correct. <laughs> uh, it's it's 11, 12 here right now. Uh, PM? Uh, AM, yeah. Oh, okay. So you're also in a good time zone. Okay, cool. I think it's yeah. just the US, uh, sorry, it's, it's Southeast Asia and Australia. We're complaining about the time, so. Uh, we'll, we'll have to figure that out. Okay, that's fine. Cool. So we're going to do a combination of long table and the Q&A session, which Haji are all familiar with. So we'll just get straight into it and we'll try and finish on the nose within uh, 45 minutes. So just uh, the way we, we do it, the general agenda uh, is uh, we'll do like just uh, you know introduction of everyone here. You can say hi to each other, uh, you know, what you do, which city you're from and your primary business. Then we'll get into the gratitude section. Then we'll talk about some uh, kind of deep and meaningful shares and uh, Q and A's in case anyone has any questions. So I'm gonna do a bit of a hybrid and then I'll finalize, it, uh, formalize it for the next session for sure. But maybe just to kick off. So I'll get uh, all of us here to introduce ourselves. So we'll just maybe start by sharing your name, the company or project if you have one going and which city you're from and maybe something you're passionate about. Let's do it that way so everyone gets a chance to hear special things about that. So I'll start with Geneve because she was uh, first online with me. So Geneve, over to you. Always. <laughs> you're on mute, yeah. by the way. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, so hi everyone. My name's Geneve. Um, I'm based in London in the UK. Um, what am I passionate about? I'm passionate about education and learning. Um, I'm a post-16 educator, um, I currently work in a primary school and I love it, so working with the little ones and supporting them sort of through the beginnings of their educational journey is probably, you know, probably one of my greatest passions at the moment, I didn't think it was something that I'd really enjoy, but it's great to see that journey from sort of grassroots level and sort of have, um, sort of imagine where those young people will be in the future. Um, what am I working on at the moment? I've just finished studying actually. So I'm taking some time out to sort of think, you know, what I'm going to do next. Um, I should be graduating in January. Um, that is Omicron dependent, um, but I'm hoping that it does happen. So I'm looking forward to it. And yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of, at the moment I'm crafting. So, I, I knit, I've kind of taken up knitting and I've also taken up um, crocheting through lockdown. So that's what I've kind of gotten into now. So I work on various 
different projects. My latest one was just kind of like hats and scarf sets because it's so cold. So I just make them for myself. I kind of have an idea and I just make it and that's it. So who knows where it might go? I was saying you never know. So that's really good. Again, that's MVP. So well done. By the way, we don't clap like this because it gets really crazy with the ears. So when we're online, we just clap with our little fingers uh, to big up yourself. So FHS, well done. Oh, oh, Hajis is, <laughs> I remember. That's cool. Yeah, you can do the, I, I don't know, I call it the tango snap. But uh, since he's in Medellin, maybe we could uh, abbreviate us on how that works. So <laughs> good work. Thanks. Nice to see you again, uh, Geneva. It's been like six months. Okay, next is uh, Jella. Go ahead, I'll leave the newcomers to the last so you kind of see how it goes. Jella, if you could, or is it too loud to uh, introduce yourself, your business, and I think some people here have never met you yet. Is Jella there or your headphones bugged? Jella, right? Yes, yes, all yours, you take Jella? it away. Yes, I did. The only one and only, Jella, go ahead. Name, city okay. where you're from, your so, business. Yeah, go ahead. Woohoo! <laughs> okay. Um, so, name is Jella. Um, something I'm passionate about music um, and singing. And um, what's the third thing I'm supposed to say? Uh, your business and uh, where you're located. I'm located, um, I'm in Lusaka, Zambia, Africa. And yeah, I am more recently enjoying um, doing my music, listening to live music and singing. I'm doing more of that these days, so I'm happy about that. That's what I'm passionate about. That's it for me. Thanks for sharing. All right, next is... <laughs> Mr. Tony, go ahead. Uh, name, location, business, and what you're passionate about. Uh, Tony, you're still on mute. Let me see if I can unmute you. Can you hear me? Yeah, you're good. Now we can hear. Go ahead. Um, Okay. Um, you can hear me? Can anybody yeah. hear me? Oh, you can hear me. Okay, all right. Uh, my, my name is Tony. I'm from Lusaka and I'm a restaurant operator and um, I love food. Thank you. <laughs> That's Tisha. What's your business called? You just acquired a business. Let's hear about it. Come on, man. Otherwise, you've got tourists here. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I operate a, a Russian restaurant. Uh, so we do Russian cuisines. The restaurant is called Bibigon. Mm -hmm. Bibigon. Yeah, Bibigon restaurant. All right. Nice. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. Awesome. And uh, next is Mr. Haji. Uh -huh. Okay, my name is Haji, and I'm, I'm, I'm living in uh, Medellin, Colombia, uh, by the fortune of finding some really great coaches. You're beneath me right now, so I can't really, I don't know if you're all to the left of me, but he's beneath me right now. And being in uh, a really great community of people, um, and it forced me to be able to travel, which is what I'm doing traveling right now and working. My passion is helping people connect with their creativity through elements of meditation, musical instruments, and my own form of um, fostering a relationship with your own self. And my business is Holistic Methods. I do online courses and retreats all around the world where I teach people how to connect with their authentic creativity. Thank you. Nice. Notice that was a 10 second pitch, guys. The dude nailed it. <laughs> well done. Awesome. Just in time, who's been practicing her 10 second pitch? Sima, you're up. Thanks, Haji. Uh, hey, my name is Sima. I'm from Mandola, Zambia. Uh, we own a, a real estate business called GTL Real Estates. Uh, and I am super passionate about planting trees. 
uh, that is indigenous trees and indigenous fruit trees. What else was I supposed to say? And uh, you spoke in front of the Zambian federal government and uh, what's happening with the trees. Ah, <laughs> that for another time. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. She's on the map program. I'm a climate activist. <laughs> yes. Indeed, indeed. And yoga instructor. So you and Haji got something to talk about. Awesome. Well done. Awesome. Good stuff. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Thanks. Good. Yeah, you guys should connect. Nice one. Awesome. Next is uh, Tasha, are you there? I'll leave Muli to last. Is Tasha there? Yeah. Hi, guys. Pick up yourself. <laughs> Hello everyone, uh, I'm Tasha Kashito from Lusaka, Zambia. I am a medical student uh, going into my final year, so I'm excited about that. I am passionate about music and just discovered that I'm good at painting, so I've been oh, doing wow. a lot of that this December, so so excited about that. Okay. <laughs> nice to see you all. And she's a medical doctor, by the way, so uh, let's not get, tell us about that. Yeah, I did mention I'm heading into my final year next year, so I'm excited. Yes, and she'll be like the pioneer in sickle cell in Zambia, and we're going to open a huge hospital and take over the world. That's basically what we're doing. No, no pressure. Good stuff. Thanks for sharing. Okay, next is Muli. Muli, you're up and disappearing with your signal. Just catch you before you drop out. Go ahead. So profession, maybe your new project you want to get into, what you're passionate about and where you're where you're located. If you can hear us, just make a signal. Right. My name is Muli Lavantu Simumba. So everyone can just call me Muli. <laughs> okay. So my name is Muli Lavantu Simumba. Everyone can just call me Muli. I'm fine by that. Uh, I'm a lawyer by profession. I'm based in Lusaka, Zambia. I am passionate about uh, gender, gender equality. I, uh, I am currently working on a farming project, to be precise, soya bean. Um, what else am I supposed to say? Um, <clears throat> I think that was a pretty good pitch. And uh, maybe something we don't know about you that you want to share that we don't know about, that most people don't know about. <laughs> um, I love food. I love food. Well, you got a few Lusaka fans there and you already met Tony, so I don't need to uh, connect you there. Well done. Okay, thanks for sharing and welcome to the tribe. And next is... Actually, we'll go with uh, Bernadette. You just logged in. Are you there, Bernadette? Oh, wow. That's your signal's pretty bad. We'll, we'll give you another round to, I don't know what we need to do there, but uh, you're breaking up. So we'll go with Mercy. Mercy, you want to, Mercedes, never actually called you Mercy before. Uh, Mercedes, you want to introduce yourself and your passion and your location? Hello, hi. My name is, uh, okay, let me, let me put myself on video. Hi. Hello, everybody. My name is Mercedes from Lusaka, Zambia. Um, I'm in the fashion industry. I, um, I uh, do a lot of things, but my major thing is uh, I'm into retail selling and uh, importing of clothes and shoes and bags. Yeah, basically I'm in the fashion industry. Um, my passion. Okay. My passion is passion, yeah. Any other questions? Your passion is passion, is that what you just said? Yes, my passion is fashion. Oh, your passion is fashion. Okay, with an F, fashion. Okay, great. And also, uh, Haji and a few others here, Neo Spirituals, she's into crystal healing and all those type of things. So you and Haji should- Oh, yes. I'm, I'm Come on now. You. Yeah, yeah. So uh, connect with Mr. Oh. Haji man. He would take he would take you to the other side and back. He's uh very new. Oh, take me. Yeah, so I'll let you guys connect offline. But yeah, he's doing some really good stuff. 
when it comes to uh, yeah. outside of life, spirituality and all that. So that's good. Brilliant. Thanks for sharing. And you're based in Osaka, you already said? Zambia? Yes, yes I am. Zambia and Osaka. Okay. Good stuff. Awesome. Okay. And uh, last but not least, unless Miss... Uh, who are we missing? Sima, we're missing uh, Mambo, yeah? I don't know if she's responded. No, she hasn't responded. Boyd hasn't responded. Oh, Boyd. Boyd in technology is a funny business, but we'll get to him in a second. But okay, we'll go with Bernadette and then we'll just continue. And uh, if they join us, they'll introduce himself. All right, Bernadette, is your signal better? You want to try again? Thanks, uh, Mercedes, for introducing. Oh, uh, can you get me now? Yeah, we can. Much better. Go ahead. Your name, your industry, your business, your passion, uh, location. It's evening here. Oh, yes. It's evening in Zambia. Uh, my name is uh, Benedette. My name is uh, Benedette Morita from Lusaka, Zambia. Um, my passion is, uh, I'm passionate about uh, self-development. And um, right now, I'm into a chemical uh, industry selling food and beverage chemicals. That's what I'm passionate about. And also, um, I'm passionate about creative arts. Mm. Can nice. you get me? Yes. Yes, we can. We can get you and we are clapping. Awesome. Creative arts. We might have to express that one in a second, get deeper, but thanks for sharing. Um, and also recently, Bernadette got promoted. Was it to global national manager of the universe of your company? What was it? It was a big title. I can't remember what you said. Uh, sales manager. Nice. For a, it's a billion dollar company, huh? Kyokem. Uh, sales manager. Yeah, for Kyokem. Awesome. So uh, if you guys yes, want sir, like, uh, big commissions and she's going to pay for all our Christmas presents with a big Pay a paycheck so we can uh, just send out all your Christmas wishes, okay? <laughs> just kidding. Now, well right, done. Sir. Thanks for coming on board and making time. I know you're busy as well. Okay, and uh, we have Bali on the map has joined us. Putu Chita. Putu is uh, one of our accredited facilitators like Geneve. So uh, Putu, you want to introduce yourself? Say hi. And I think it's like two o'clock in the morning over there, whatever crazy time it is. Thanks for joining us. Uh, do you want to uh, introduce yourself, your business, and what you're passionate about? Put to you there. Hi, yes, I'm here. We want to see your <laughs> sleepy eyes. Come on, let's see your face. <laughs> um, no, I can't. I can't put on the video. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I won't. I won't hold that against you. I understand. What time is it over there in Bali? Um. Uh, what is it now? It's 28 past 12. Wow, commitment. FHS, man. Nice one. Nice one. We love that. Pretty stuff. <laughs> All right. So you want to introduce yourself and your passion? Maybe how we met? Because uh, a lot of people haven't met, but I think we've done most of the uh, client uh, trainings in Bali on our behalf for the NGOs there. So you want to say a bit about that as well? Go ahead. All right. So hi, everyone. I'm uh, Putu Chita from Bali. Um, I think I, uh, I met Aaron first time in 2018, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was uh, in one of the, uh, session and then we had our, uh, bootcamp, uh, mm -hmm. in 2019. So in one year we held four bootcamps. So every three months, if I'm oh, not. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's crazy time. We just started that in Lusaka. Oh, nice. Ah, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw the, the update on the Facebook. Mm. And uh, yeah, I'm... Uh, uh, what is it? What, what do I have to say? <laughs> uh, what are you passionate about? Oh, uh, I'm passionate in, uh, in education. So working so much with the youth here in Bali, Indonesia. And uh, yeah, and it's growing and uh, now going to... Also going across all Indonesia with my project, but uh, nice. because of 
yeah because of the situation so looking forward to do the online at the moment with uh, people in the youth in bali and in samarang so in java so yeah mm. nice to be in contact internationally with you guys thank you <clears throat> nice nice and i was thinking since you're hindu and sima also you could uh, we could have another workshop on the the, pro the similarities and differences between uh bali hinduism and the zambian version of it too so i'm very curious to uh hear how <laughs> how we can translate that but uh that's a conversation offline for another session i'm sure okay so welcome guys uh, i don't think i've missed anyone and uh congratulations on making time particularly before the festive season uh it's been a journey i'm sure for all of us with the transitions transformation but i thought the way we'll start off the the, the the session for the last 30 minutes is maybe just now have a quick chat about, you know, uh, headlines for the month, like maybe what's been uh, for you the headline for the month. If you think about the month of November, usually we do it for the, actually, let's, let's change it. We'll do a headline for the year. What's been your highlight? What's been the thing that stands out as something you're really, really proud of yourself? For either accomplishing, trying, or whichever myriad of it. So I'll give some of you some time to think about it, but uh, I will start with Tasha because I know she's had some kick ass stuff going on in her medical space. I'm sure she'll pick an example there. I'm not queuing you, but it could be even personal or not. But I know you're good to go because you told me some accomplishments uh, recently. So uh, the rest of you buys you a bit of time. What's been the headline for? 2021 and I thought it'd be nice to kind of set the tone to close off the year as a tribe together uh, and give us some time to be grateful for something as well so what's been your headline and what are you most grateful for just those two things and we'll go around the long table in the virtual world so Tasha kick us off <laughs> I don't know why I have to go first but okay it. um no I don't <laughs> Um, well, as I've said earlier, I am a medical student and um, most of you know, well, most of you that we've had these online meetings with know that I was born with sickle cell. Um, it's a genetic, genetic disorder. And so this year um, was my first time being at the hospital and working a full or night shift and uh, my lecturers and uh, senior doctors and everyone thought I couldn't handle it. I would be tired and I wouldn't take on, but I did it. And um, the first night was pretty hard because <laughs> I was falling asleep most of the night, but then you're kept on your feet all the time because there's always patients coming in. So you're always busy. But um, for me, it's even when I felt tired and I wanted to sit down and rest, I kept pushing myself until it was morning and my shift was over. So. I'm really proud of myself for that, for pushing myself, even when I felt I cannot do this anymore. I'm tired, I need to rest, but I kept going. And I am grateful for my family. Um, <laughs> my family are my biggest support. And honestly, I wouldn't achieve anything without them. And next year I will be separating from them. I will be on my own <laughs> in a completely different town. And I am terrified, but... Um, yeah, if I did 2021, I'm pretty sure I will do 2022 as well. So, yeah, I'm grateful for that. Yeah, nice one. Congratulations. It's being posted like far away forever in the bush. So that's that's epic. I'm gonna go and uh, grow that muscle. But we can all visit her and check out what projects she's doing there. So well done. All right, next one is Mr. Tony. Thank you, Tash. Mr. Tony, what are you great? What's your headline for the 2021, and what are you most grateful for? Uh, my headline for 2021, I'm grateful my family wasn't living with me, so they joined me, and that was my biggest uh, home run, and I'm so grateful for that. And um, then our business has been quite hard, but towards the end of the year, I managed to hit the jackpot, so I'm able to stabilize financially. So that's how I took over a Russian restaurant. Never thought of owning one. So things are looking good by the grace of God. So uh, hopefully next year around May, May or June, I'll be traveling to Russia and Uzbekistan to understand the culture and everything else. 
Thank you. And introduce us to the mafia. Awesome. <laughs> I'm already a mafia. <laughs> Congratulations. Awesome. Great. And I did. I did. I, I got an Ooh. infection on my finger, so I did my own surgery. Uh, are you sure that so, wasn't because you were cursing someone? That seems to be a very convenient finger to injure. <laughs> no, don't don't read between the lines. That's <laughs> no, so proud of you, man. Thank you thank really you. come out of from the ashes. Yes, thanks. Been a huge day. Congratulations. All right. Well done. And for the record, Tony actually helped us uh, significantly even with Jella launch the Osaka market, driving around, picking us up. And he forced me to upscale my own expectations to the Radisson Blue, which is where that partnership started with Tony opening up some doors for us. So thank you so much for that. He's like, Aaron, you're playing too small. Go for the big guys. I was like, uh, I don't know. So uh, testimony to you, my friend. You've been such a giver, even in times of uh, you picking yourself up. So I appreciate that so much. Awesome. Well done. All right. Next is Jella. Go ahead. What are you, what's your headline for 2021? And what are you most grateful for? My headline for 2021 is the dojo. Um, I, in this year, I'm very happy that um, I did with a couple of friends of mine something that I really love, which is actually loving and connecting with people and helping them to find the best version of themselves within themselves. Um, so we started a community wellness a wellness community rather called the dojo and um and uh it's been seven months now and we're still going strong um i want to highlight something about the dojo what can i say about that i have found that when i help others love themselves i find also better ways to love myself and when i help others heal i get better also i i heal so that's something I love about the dojo that we get together and we support each other's journey. We have chosen to love and encourage each other as a, as, as a group of people. So yeah, I'm not sure if I've explained it very well, but we call ourselves the dojo. So for me, that's been a very highlight for this year. And we're seven months old now, so I'm happy about that. Nice. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. And next is Mr. Miss, actually, no, I'll go Mr. Yeah, Mr. Haji, go ahead. Headline for 2021. Man, we've been on a journey. I think the whole year we started together, yeah? So let's see yeah, what man. you pick. Go ahead. So out of the multitude of things that have happened over this last year, I think the one that has the most pivotal growth for me has been hiring two people and being up into that lane of being able to delegate and lead and to inspire and to connect values with one another and work as a team and to facilitate that and to go through the headaches and the stressfulness of not communicating and then finally breaking through that and being able to actually get common ground and share a vision which it's I never would have thought of this last year that I'll be doing or want to do something like this. I kind of want to be the solo entrepreneur, do everything myself, you know, stoic kind of. And I'm like, man, you got, you need people to build teams. You need people to build and grow quicker. So I, I really appreciate that would be my highlight would be hiring my two amazing assistants and not training them, but training for their position, knowing that they can leave and I can put someone else right back in the process and they pick up where they left off at. So that has been a huge, huge gift for me so far. That was your headline. What's your, what are you grateful for? Damn. Um, you said, what am I grateful for? Oh my God. Um, I'm grateful for growth. My business is scaling. I'm in another country right now because of how my business is working. I have freedom to move in a certain way. I'm grateful for my mindset because my mindset has shifted over the last three years or so from where I used to be and who I am right now. I'm the same person, but completely different at the same time. And I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, I just appreciate my mindset and how I'm looking at life and places that I can go and doors that are opening because of how I'm thinking about things now. So that would be my win for 2000. I'm sure it's a bunch more, but that's what's coming up right now. Well done. Great. Damn. <laughs> Great to hear. 
All right, next is uh, Mercedes. What are you, what's your headline for 2021 and what are you grateful for? I think we're gonna even run out of time on this one, but this is, this is juicy stuff. My, okay, my headline for 2021. Um, I'm grateful for, for being alive basically, but um, the thing that I'm most grateful about is finding my self-worth. Um, I found my identity right now. I am so proud of myself. I never saw anything that I'm doing right now because where I'm from. I come from a place where my people did not see my value. But now I fall off and I know what people of and I stood up for myself. So yeah, that's basically what I am proud of right now. Yeah, FHS, congratulations. I felt that one. Awesome. Thanks for sharing that. Boom, kaboom, kaboom. And uh, yeah, thanks for saying that. that was epic. I could say a lot more, but I'll leave it there. Self-worth is priceless. So well done. Really proud of you. Uh, next is Putuchita. Geneva, I'm leaving you for the last. I think you know that. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Aaron. Uh, headline and what, uh, you what, what you're grateful for. Okay. The headline for 2021 for me is being uh, in the openness and acceptance, it's, it's two things which I learned in 2021 because there's so many things happening, whether in the personal life and also in the business, <clears throat> uh, in, in, in family and uh, in uh, yeah, personal relationship also. So of uh, the acceptance is uh, especially is accepting that is in this life there is a, the the duality low and that is uh, that is being the highlight for me uh, this year until it's even until now and uh, what i'm grateful for is uh, i keep having the support uh, from family and also from friends and mentors uh, until now that uh, this year actually i managed to uh, recruit uh, two uh, member uh, team member in, in in business so that is uh, what I'm grateful for thank you now it's a really good one I'll say a little bit there because it's connected to a few people in the tribe uh, some of you know when I coach you or work with you we work on those 10 philosophies and uh, one of them is detachment equals flow we talked about perfectionism and Putu has come such a long way to use the word duality. I think Putu, we've had those chats in the past about just embracing both sides and uh, going with the flow of things. So really proud of you I've seen that uh, shift in your energy level. So well done. And obviously it's paying, paying for itself in terms of the people you're attracting. So great it, stuff. It there. is indeed very helpful, the 10 philosophy, and I use it very much in my life. Yeah. Thank you. No, it's good. It's good. Attachment equals flow is a big one. So well done. Uh, thanks for sharing. And uh, we'll go to Prana, who's actually here, uh, just logged in. So Prana, maybe introduce yourself, the city or town you're from, and then go straight into your headline for 2021 and what you're grateful for. Yeah, that's a few things there, but see how you go. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Aaron. Hey, everyone. My name is Dika Prana Dubipa. Please call me Prana. Uh, I live in Denpasar, it's the same city as Putujita. Uh, it's hard to get the headline. There are too many things happening during 2021, but probably uh, one of uh, the headline is that it's been the 12th month uh, since I moved to, the, to a new place, a very nice place in the suburb, quite far from the city center, but it's surrounded by uh, the mountains, the river, and uh, the village life. It's very nice. And one thing I'm grateful of is, I think, uh, seeing daughter uh, uh, growing when she started to say the, fir the first words and when she started to, to do new things that she didn't, she wasn't able to do. That's, I think, uh, what I'm the most grateful of. Yeah, Thank nice. you. Awesome. Just a little bit about this man. I met him when his wife was pregnant for the first time when we started talking about uh, facilitation. 
it was like crazy midnight and uh, he thought I was trying to sell him a pyramid scheme <laughs> and uh, the rest is in history since then and uh, super proud of you and the father you've become Prana and what maybe some of you don't know is this man is a world-class champion at Toastmasters so when it comes to public speaking and storytelling I've learned so much from this man so uh, congratulations on your journey my friend and uh, he's been a huge uh, implementer of facilitation when it comes to that in the uh, dual Bali, what was it? Because uh, you speak a bit of Balinese and uh, English and also translating it to some of the rural communities of Puchichita where we work. So it's been very instrumental to have you. So congratulations, my friend. Really happy to see you again. So yeah, really exciting. And your, your daughter's how old? One year now, yeah? She was born this year, wasn't she? Uh, two years, two years. Two years. Almost oh, two. Goodness. Oh, wow. oh, yeah, she's speaking. Mm -hmm. That wouldn't make any sense. Sorry, time is collapsing in my head. Now, congrats. So, thanks for sharing. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay, Sima, what's your headline and uh, what you're grateful for? Um, my headline for 2021, I had many headlines. I think um, uh, I come from an accounting background, and then finding my space in the real estate was very hard. But uh, finally, I'm getting there. I spent half of my 2021 in hospital beds. <laughs> uh, and I am so grateful that um, uh, most of my patients, apart from losing one, most of the other patients are all well. Um, and then last year, I started planting trees uh, just to the number of my age. And then I just over exceeded by like 5,000. And all of a sudden this year, I get all this recognition from the government and um, from the city where I live and all the other cities. So I am so super grateful. Um, and uh, the, the main thing is being mentally uh, strong, uh, both in my business uh, with patients, and with planting trees, because a lot of people discourage you, you're wasting time, ABCD. And for me, mental strength is very important. So that's the muscle that I've been growing this year. Thanks for sharing. Epic. And yes, she's on TV and we are going to have to send the link on the private page, which you haven't done yet. So we shall see her on TV when she sends that short video in the tribe community, but well done, well done. The minister didn't even wanna see me, he just wanted to see her, just letting you know how, how profound her pitch was. So well done. Um, okay, and next is Muli. Headline and what you're grateful for, 2021. Hi, so my headline for 2021 is exactly what I'm grateful for. I'm grateful to be alive. 2021 really wasn't my year. I had a lot lined up, sadly, couldn't. But I'm alive and I'm grateful. So I think I think that's that's more than enough for me, being alive and and I'm grateful for that. I'll just get a bit more from you. What have you yeah. learned the most about yourself that surprised you this year? Well, my ability to withstand so much pressure and to to just survive everyone expected me to crumble but i but i stood i think that, that no i could and i did and i'm grateful for that wicked i think we all needed to hear that high five on that one for sure so proud of you and uh, welcome to the tribe. You are in very, very safe space, my friend. So uh, I think you've heard from everyone here. We really enjoy hearing these stories and seeing how we can support each other. So well done. And thanks for choosing us as well. The journey has just begun. So welcome to the, uh, the journey. All right. And Geneve, last but not least, can uh, finish. Okay, I'll, 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 keep, I'll, keep, I'll keep it brief. Um, you can try. So my headline, my headline for 2021 has to be I did it because the last couple of years for me have been really tough with my studies and um, I stuck with it and I actually completed it in the summer. So I'm, at, I'm just so thrilled to be. I think one thing that I learned about myself through that is that I'm a lot stronger 
than I give myself credit for. And I have a lot more resilience as well, especially um, coming to my final year when we were just hitting the first lockdown and everything went online. Um, it was tough, but I was so, so determined to get through. Um, what am I grateful for? I think as a few people have said, I mean, I'm grateful for being here to be able to tell my story because there's so many people that aren't with us now. Um, and some of them are sort of like close family and friends that have sort of lost the fight. So I'm grateful for that. Um, I've also realized that my journey itself, I think I, I'm sometimes quite impatient and want things to happen like yesterday. And um, I've realized now, and I've come to accept that my journey is not necessarily a sprint, it's probably more of a marathon. So I'm just sort of taking things day by day and just enjoying the process. So now I've finished my studies, I can sort of start to take some time now to think about what next, because I've got the time and the energy to do it. So that's me. Awesome. One other thing you haven't mentioned, this is a single woman with a son with disabilities and a very, very badass when it comes to handling adversity. So I uh, just want all of you to know that she's being too humble. The journey has been interesting. So I see you, we see you. He's, he's, my, he's my son. So, you know, it, it has been difficult with him because he's been unwell himself, but, and through lockdown, I couldn't see him for a long time. So that was tough, but you know what? I'm grateful that I was doing my studies at the time because that gave me something else to focus on. So I threw all of my energy into that and actually I got a first. So, you know, blessing in disguise it was. So it works both ways. Nice. We won't count the corporate story we just came out of at the beginning, but uh, we'll leave that there. But well done, super proud of you. Thank you. And uh, yeah, guys, so that's, um, I mean, we all have a story, right? And I think in the last 10 minutes, I just wanted to kind of impress upon you guys that, you know, we all seem to be pushing through this silly little thing called our businesses, and yet we don't really appreciate, and maybe that's my biggest takeaway, just how one event for you to stay strong and keep persevering and all of you have shared in your own way is such a breath of fresh air and an inspiration for someone else. You have no idea how many people will probably fight one more day just because they see you out there, you know, um, fighting your own battles. And you're such a huge inspiration. And even to me, surprise or not, I see all of you and I kind of stalk you on Facebook. Sometimes we don't talk, but the overcoming is such a, is such a big part of, I think what, you know, this symbol I always wear on my shirts is about is perseverance. But the point is, we're not just doing it for ourselves when we overcome those adversities. We're actually doing it for the people who are in our care and or are watching what we do. So you mean so, so much to me and you mean so, so much to this tribe. But I just want to tell you the best thing you can do for yourself in this year is take a moment and pause and list maybe that was the only task I had for you guys today. Just 10 things you're super grateful for for the year because the fact is you're still alive and you have a chance to go at it again in the new year, we hope. And don't think other people are not watching. You know, Just because people don't like your pages on Facebook or social media does not mean you're not changing lives, you are. So I'm, I'm really, really grateful and excited about that. And you know, we don't have too much time to go into too much more. But um, yeah, 2021 for me, it's been about the tribe and the support that you guys have given. And uh, most of you know, I've had my battles too, and it's been half a year in a different world and another half in a different world. But the fact is we're still here together and this tribe has absolutely exploded with people from all over the place. And I just wanted the opportunity to connect as many of you guys together. So you see here together and uh, you know, don't uh, take each other for granted here. You probably have more in common in this group than you do with some of your relatives out there who are telling you to just give up and what's the point, you know, but the point is you're not doing this for just yourself. So the best way you can do this is like I said, just be the best version of yourself and the rest will fall where it falls. So, um, and that's, and your, and your best is good enough. Those of you who are perfectionists in here, you know who I'm talking about. 
good is good enough. Your best is good enough. It's not about the result. So super, super proud of you guys. And I don't want to get too emotional about it. So uh, I have to finish on six, uh, sorry, seven here, which is in six minutes, but I just thought maybe we could uh, finish off in closing. Uh, just maybe one thing I can share for you guys that I think has, yeah, let's put it this way. Maybe we can just close the meeting by sharing one word that summarizes how you feel about next year. Because uh, trust me, we are going to do some really powerful things next year together. Uh, my hopes are that um, we all just clean the slate and start afresh in the next few weeks, which is next year, then take the baggage from what didn't work into the new year. I'm, I'm also one of those type of people like, oh, I could have done this, I could have done that. The fact is you did your best and you're here. So maybe just one year, one word to, as your motto, uh, we'll do a yearly plan, I promise. There'll be a workshop online as well at the end of the month, January, to go through supporting those of you who are not on the programs as to how to plan your year for 2022. But the top section is always about what's your slogan for the new year? So this one, we've all said our gratitude, but what's the slogan gonna be for you for 2022? And that's the parting gift I'd love to give you that go into the new year with that strong intention for yourself and trust me, your words are power so it will manifest because you will believe that quote and that should take you through regardless of what plans you make so uh jella you have your hand up do you want to start with the, the slogan or you actually wanted to say something i'm not too sure i can see your hand up there was that a mistake there's a little hand up like this on your see that no it's not a mistake um i didn't hear your highlight for the year Am I the only one that missed that? I think so. I'll say it again. <laughs> I said it, you crazy people. I said I am Hello? grateful for the tribe and the support I've got from you guys uh, because we've all had a challenge. Okay. Yes. And I'm really, for me, it's a tribe has been the biggest gratitude and the biggest gratitude because I just wouldn't probably have managed to live in these two worlds and uh, persevere through what's gone through this year for me had it not been knowing i'm probably responsible for another session with one of you at some point that's got me through some really really dark times so i said i was really grateful for the tribe for that i think i said that didn't i say that i hope i did <laughs> that's what i'm saying so yeah i'll cut myself with that but it's it's been life-changing having you guys here life-changing both the zambian new tribe and the tribe from before uh, and Geneva, particularly, for example, just say, when are we catching up? When are we catching up? You know, so these little things just kept me going. You have no idea. At times, I'm just like, God, to hell with all this. You know, so you have no idea how significant you are to me as well. That's, I think, what I was trying to say in that, in a nutshell, for 2021. Uh, it's been feeling supported. Did I answer your question, Jella, this time around? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for letting me rehash on it. Um, so since you picked on me, Jella, you can go back and finish up. What's your slogan for the, for the year? We'll finish on that. We've got two minutes, guys. Slogan for 2022. What, what will it be? And it has to be a short sentence. You know, Nike have just do it as, as a simple slogan. So, you know, it doesn't have to be a whole story. So what's it going to be? And write it down for yourselves. I'll tell you mine at the end. I've got it already. Go ahead, Jella. is live day live what you know yeah i think my day for 2021 did you say um, live the day we didn't hear that well say that again you're on mute <laughs> you're on mute uh we're hearing but you can't you're on mute yeah <laughs> Sorry, and I said it so passionately. No one heard that. No. Nope. Okay, so I was. <laughs> um, I meant live, like be alive today. Uh, oh. You know, I, because I think these times I've just existed, and that wasn't that wasn't cool. So I want to have my FHS every day. You know, I I don't want to miss a chance to sing, miss a chance to hug, 
Miss a chance to live. I want to live today, so it's live today. Nice. Yeah, big up. I wish I could clap. I can't find the emoji for that. Awesome. I love that. Okay, Sima, what's yours? Thanks for sharing, Jella. Uh, Sima's frozen. Okay, when she gets back. Tony, what's yours? Yes. Oh, Sima's back. Sort of back. Yeah, you're Can back. I say it? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, be strong and focused. Be strong and focused. All right. We're banking that. Actually, we're going to even write it down here as we go. So, Jella, you can write yours. Sima, you can write yours in the comments. I'm going to save this and send it back to you in the times of need. Nice. Be strong and focused. Love that. Tony, what's yours? Um, mine is uh, be smooth and make everything easy. But you're already smooth, man. For others, but for yourself. <laughs> oh, for others. So say that again in a sentence. Okay. Be smooth and easy for yourself and for others. All right. Be smooth and easy for yourself and others. Love that. Nice one. Muli, what's yours? Merry Christmas, everybody, and Happy New Year. Merry Christmas to you, too. Thanks for sharing. Muli, what's yours? Well, mine is we try again today. So every day I wake up and just try again. Try again today. Love that. Awesome. That's very consistent. Like that. Janiv, what's yours? I think for me, um, approach everything with optimism. Mm, I like that. Approach everything with optimism. 2022. It's here we come. Nice. Haji, what's yours? Sorry, say that again. I said growth and passion. Those are my two. Growth and passion. Awesome. Love it. Tasha. Don't forget to type it in. Here. Feel the damn silence. What's that? Feel the damn silence. Make myself heard. Feel the damn, the damn D-A-M-N, yeah? The damn silence. Mm -hmm. yeah nice one you go gangster love it yes make yourself heard yes i think we all need a bit of that as well fantastic great share prana yours almost there guys uh mine is uh 21 2021 was great and 2022 and by two i mean 2022 to also it's a pun <laughs> I don't know what you said. Say that again. Uh, 2021 was great, and 2022. Two oh, is not two. Oh, and 2022. Ah, I like it. Smart. Yeah, these guys are joking. I love it. <laughs> Got it. Awesome. Nice, nice. Put to chitta. Don't forget to type it in there so we all see it, Prana. Okay, what is it that uh, to be said? The slogan for the year 2022, what's it going to be? Short words, couple of letters for what your slogan for the year should be about 2022. What's your theme? Oh, 2022. Um, um, collaboration. Mm, collaboration, yes. That's actually the only way to scale these days. Awesome. Fantastic. Love it. All right. And oh, Mambo is here. Mambo, I don't know how much of uh, this episode you've been connected, but uh, do you have one thing you're grateful for for 2021 and your slogan for 2022? Just to summarize, I think you've come at the tail end of the meeting. Yes. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry. I just got distracted. Okay. Big government so, people, we um... understand. Go ahead. No, no, no. <laughs> Not that time, please. <laughs> so um, I'm here. I'm grateful for meeting you guys, for being part of the tribe. It's, it's been really eye-opening. And at least it's helped me to end this year on a good note. Yeah. So 
uh. of my yeah <laughs> so my slogan for next year is um i need to sharpen but it's one more step every day because i know if i do one thing every day i'm getting closer to my goals mm. nice all right type yeah. that in and we'll, sh we'll sharpen it for the next uh, coaching session awesome well done and guys she's in sustainability she's gonna be a consultant she's a huge mushroom farmer so we all get free mushrooms from her one day so that's who mamboy is Yay. mother of three four i, I can't remember. I, I think i'm looking at the pictures in my head but yeah it's amazing amazing all right uh last but not least mercedes i know you've been in and out uh, internet uh, slogan for the year for 2022 oh, okay yeah, my internet is really bad where i am no, um sir. my slogan for the year would be i'll catwalk through my hardships yeah one mm. catwalk at a time i'll fall i'll get back up again so yeah nice catwalks through the hardships love that and check out our live feed she's always catwalking her fashion clothes so uh, you can see how strong our catwalk is it's pretty, <laughs> pretty stellar <laughs> awesome and i think i've got everyone for me guys it is seize the day and love your family and tribe hard for sure i want to love you guys even harder than i tried this year and get my family together and just smother you guys i think that's pretty much what i'm about to do next year so I'm pretty grateful for that. Uh, that's pretty much me on a nutshell. On that note, love you guys. Happy Merry Christmas. It's 7.06 here. We all have to check out. I've got to rush somewhere uh, to be with my mom. But just want to say I'm super grateful for everyone. Stay safe. If you haven't got the calendar, get the calendar from Guy Sunny, okay, which will give you an outline of all the events coming up. I think we reopen on the 10th of January. And all the sessions and coaching sessions will be up there for facilitators. We're going to talk more about the plan for next year, but super, super happy with everyone here. Guys, take some time to be with family. We only have one. And uh, I've never actually said that before, but it's really important. And I uh, really look forward to seeing you in the new year, okay? And uh, yeah, just be safe and uh, don't take anyone for granted that's close to you, because trust me, we can't do this alone. So on that note, love you. I'll post this on the private Facebook page, Tribe Community. You can all check it out there, share it, and share your videos on there. Please let's stay interactive. So many people are learning from you there, just in the little things you're getting to. So just share some of your wins or whatever quirky stuff you're up to during the festive season. It'll be nice to just keep that uh, communication. You have no idea how many people don't have family they can connect with, yeah? Lockdown or whatever. So don't uh, keep all the good stuff to yourself. On that note, love you, FHS. Thanks everyone for connecting. We'll do this once a month at the end of every month. I promise next year. All right. Talk soon. Love you guys. Take care. Definitely. All right. Ciao. Happy Christmas, everyone. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. If you celebrate it, Alhamdulillah. See you soon. Ciao. Merry Christmas. All right. Merry Christmas, everyone. All right. See you guys. Log off. I'll be last. <laughs> Log off. Okay. See you soon. See you, Prana, Ambwe, Putu, Sadies, Tony, Dash. Big up yourself. See you soon. <laughs>